गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सी वॉट इज़ द रिलेशन बिटवीन द स्लो डिफ्लेक्शन बेंडिंग मूवमेंट शेयरिंग फोर्स एंड रेट ऑफ लोडिंग एंड इन दैट वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट मेथड टू एवलेट द डिफ्लेक्शन एंड स्लो ऑफ द बीम अंडर स्टैंडर्ड कंडीशंस नाउ इन दैट वी फर्स्ट वी हैव लर्न द डबल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड थ्रू विच वी कैन एवलेट द स्लो and deflection of a beam when simply supported beam subjected to point load or udl so if you observe that was the complicated method or laborious we can say method to get the deflection of the beam or slope of the beam at any section today we will see the next method to find out the deflection and slope of the beam that is known as a maclis method now here i have considered one simply supported beam carrying the supports at the both the end so here i will consider this is ra let's say this is rb this is b point and this one is a point now on this particular simply supported beam there is one load which is acting not at center at some distance let's say that is w and if i consider this length from a is from a point is a and distance from b point is b and if i consider the entire length of the beam l now what will happen when the force is applied due to this particular point load the beam will deflect so definitely beam will deflect now if you observe the maximum deflection may be somewhere in this region clear and at a and at b deflection is zero and if you consider the slope slope will be maximum at point a and b and slope somewhere here slope will be zero at maximum deflection we will get slope equal to zero now if you use the simple formula is that is summation of moment equal to zero and summation of f of y equal to zero from that we can evaluate the value of reaction r a that will be the w into b divided by l and r b equal to w into a divided by l clear so we have evaluated the value of r a and r b now let's start the maclis method now this method is used to per, to find out deflection at any point in the beam if i consider the section at different plane let's say here i have considered section xx or if you want somewhere here then i will consider section yy or if you consider over here zz clear so this particular method will give you the deflection at any point in the beam clear so if you want to evaluate the deflection at any point then previous method was very laborious clear but it's very easy to get deflection or slope at any point in the beam clear so for that purpose we will see this particular method to get the deflection of the beam simple so now let's start i will start with the bending moment the bending moment at any let's say this is c point any section between a and c so what i'm looking for bending moment in this particular section a to this particular point c clear so at a distance x from a is 
given by so we will take a simply a bending moment so let's say mx now this x point is within ac so that is ra into x so here if you consider the x x section one section at a distance of x here so this is ra in, and the moment is in clockwise so left to the section if bending moment is clockwise then consider positive just put the value of ra that is w into b divided by l into x clear now this particular equation will give you the moment between the section so we can say between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a so this equation is valid up to this particular limit clear now bending moment at any section between the cb so here if you consider the cb if you want somewhere here then i will write moment bending moment between c and b so here i will write mx is equal to ra into x so again what i am doing just i am changing the section so here i will consider again x x section and this will be the distance x so up to this in left side how many forces are there two ra and w this will be a clockwise and this will be anti-clockwise all are in left side of section so i will consider positive ra and minus w into x minus a clear so w is distance from this particular plane is for this load this distance if you want this entire is x and this distance will be become x minus a so up to c point distance is a so this will become x minus a simple so just put the value of moment sorry value of reaction r a that is w into b divided by l into x minus w into x minus a clear so this is the next moment in which we can get having limiting value x is equal to 0 or x is equal to we can say up to l also or we can say up to a plus x a plus b so we can get the moment of entire beam through this equation now what i will do i will divide this equation up to this one if you check this previous one and this one value of w b l and to x so can i say up to this dotted line this particular equation will give the bending moment between the a and c b clear so bending moment now we have another equation that is bending moment at any section is also given by we have learned in previous section clear so i will show you so this one moment is equal to e i into d 2 y divided by d x square so i can write bending moment m equal to e i into d 2 y divided by d x square so this is equation number two and this is will be equation number one now this equation will also give the bending moment between a to b this also give the bending moment between a to b so if you equate this equation then i can write from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 i will rewrite the equation that will be e i into d2 y divided by dx square equal to w into b divided by l into x here i will consider dot line minus w into x minus a clear 
so we get the next equation so that will be the equation number three now hence what i will do i will integrate integrating above equation so i can get e i into dy by dx so this is nothing but slope equal to w v l these are the constants into integration of x that will be x square divided by 2 so this dot line i will consider over here again w is constant now integration of x minus a here i am considering this is a single so what will be there x minus a whole square divided by 2 so remember this so this i will rewrite x minus a whole square divided by 2 clear now next what is remaining here i will consider the constant of integration so that will be c1 so instead of at the end i will write over here clear so c1 is nothing but it is a constant of d integration clear so here we get the another equation so i will rewrite them as a equation number four now if you take again integration again integrating equation number four so here what i will get e i into deflection that is y equal to w into b divided by L. it will be the constant clear now into x square integration that will be x cube divided by 3 plus c1 into x minus w into x minus a again x minus a square it will become q divided by 2 into 3 clear so this will be the equation number 5 so is it the final equation no we need to write the constant of integration that is c2 clear so this c2 is nothing but it's another constant of integration c2 is another constant of integration clear now here we have considered x minus a square is a one quantity clear so its integration we have taken x minus a cube divided by 2 this is the, the type of integration which will justify the constant of integration clear now so we have this slope equation this is nothing but this slope equation clear so dy by dx is slope now this is nothing but it's a deflection equation clear now here if you observe c1 and c2 both are constant of integration now we need to evaluate its value clear so what i will do i will use the limiting condition or we can say boundary condition so by using boundary conditions clear so first is at a we can say at x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 what will the value of y definitely y will be 0 because at end point if you consider this is a beam at both the end point beam will deflect like this but at this a and b the deflection will be equal to 0 so if you put this value in equation 5 so we can rewrite this e i into 0 equal to w b d r by 2 l so i can write 6 l into 0 cube plus c1 into 0 plus c2 so here i will consider up to this 
dotted line clear so from this this will be 0 again this will be 0 plus 0 plus c2 so i can write c2 equal to the 0 simple so this is one concept of integration now we have another boundary condition that is second condition so i will consider at b clear so at b means at x is equal to l and y will be equal to 0 so in equation again 5 i can write w equal to sorry e i into 0 so that will be a 0 into w into b so this is equation number 5 clear so this is equation number 5 i am just putting the value instead of x i will write l and instead of y i will write 0 so here i will write w l into 2 into instead of x i will write l cube divided by 3 plus c1 l plus 0 as c2 is 0 minus w by 2 into l m x instead of x i am writing l l a cube divided by 3 simple so here again now instead of l minus a l minus a can i write b yes because l equal to a plus b simple so if i consider a in this side so i can write l minus a equal to b so instead of l minus a i will write b so this is equation will become w b l cube 2 into 3 6 plus c1 into l minus w b cube divided by 6 l so 6 not l so that is i am checking okay w b cube minus 6 so just take these two value in that size direction so i can write minus c l equal to w b l cube divided by 6 minus w b cube divided by 6 clear if i write for c1 then i can write minus this i am transferring over here w b l cube divided by 6 into l i am transferring l over this side minus w b cube divided by 6 l so this l and this will get cancelled one l will get cancelled and i will write c1 value that will be equal to minus w b divided by 6 l i will take 6 l common then l square minus b square clear so this is nothing but equation number 6 if you put this value in equation number 4 so put this value in equation number 4 so what is the equation number 4 so this is slope equation here we have constant of integration c1 so instead of c1 i am writing its value so slope equation we can say slope equation become e i into dy by dx equal to w b x square divided by l into 2 plus this c1 value minus w b divided by 6 l l square minus b square this is dotted value dotted line sorry minus w into x minus a cube divided by 2 clear so just i am taking this negative over here then i will get e i into dy by dx equal to w b x square divided by 2 l minus w b divided by 6 l 
एल स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर डैश डॉटेड लाइन डब्ल्यू इंटू एक्स माइनस ए स्क्वेयर डिवाइड बाय टू सो दिस विल बी द इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन नाउ दिस इक्वेशन इज नथिंग बट इट्स स्लोप द अब इक्वेशन इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ स्लोप इक्वेशन नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एवलेट द स्लोप सो डेफिनेटली एट पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट बी स्लोप विल बी मैक्सिमम क्लियर सो आई विल एवलेट एट ए एट ए मीन्स एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो just put the value of x over here then i will get ei into deflection at a then this will be equal to zero so this will become become zero as put if you put x value zero then entire this will become zero so w minus sorry wb divided by 6l into l square minus b square so i will write up to this डॉटेड लाइन क्लियर सो ई आई विल इन टू थीटा ए इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बी डिवाइड बाई सिक्स एल देन एल स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर सो इफ आई वॉन्ट स्लोप एट ए देन आई कैन राइट डब्ल्यू बी डिवाइड बाई सिक्स ई आई एल सो आई एम जस्ट ट्रांसफरिंग ई आई इन दैट साइड इन टू एल स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर clear by substituting value okay so this will be the slope slope at a clear now if you want deflection then deflection so just put the value of c1 this c1 value and c2 value in the equation number 5 so this is deflection equation clear so i will write from equation 5 from equation 5 and substitute value of c1 and c2 so i will get ei into y equal to W into B divided by six L into x cube plus just I am putting the value of C one that is W B divided by six L L square minus B square into x plus zero so this will be the value of C two this is dotted line W divided by six x minus a square so this will be the equation number eight so this will give you the deflection value so i am just showing you so here what i did i just put the value of c1 and c2 clear now here we got the equation number 8 clear wait ha huh. you might seen over here now this particular equation will give the deflection at any point in the beam clear so to find the deflection yc under the load so deflection at point c so i can rewrite the above equation so ei into yc that will be equal to w into b divided by 6l into c so where i want up to c matlab if you want at point c at c i can say x is equal to a clear so at c matlab x is equal to a so instead of x cube x value i will write a cube minus wb divided by 6l now this will be l square minus b square instead of x i will write a clear so this will be the zero automatically 
up to this dash line only why because i want up to c i don't want extra part so i have eliminated so again wb divided by 6l so if i consider a as a common wb 6a and a if i consider the common then i will get a square so instead of uh, I am just taking a outside, so I will get a square minus l square minus b square. Clear? So again, I will rewrite minus. So again, here I need to consider minus minus w. So I will consider a over here w a b divided by 6 l now l square i am just taking common minus over here that's why l square minus a square b square clear so here the value was positive now i have taken negative value common that's why this minus l square become plus this plus will become minus and this minus sorry this is plus and this will become minus clear now here if you see minus minus here this will become positive and here again it will become negative as I am taking minus outside now you may see that there is L square instead of this L square I can write a plus b square clear because l is nothing but a plus b so here I will write a b divided by 6 l now instead of l square I will write a plus b whole square minus a square minus b square it is not over again minus w a b divided by 6 l so just expand this bracket I can add a square plus b square plus 2ab minus a square minus b square so this a square a square get cancelled b square and minus b square it will get cancelled so finally I will get minus w into ab divided by 6l into 2ab clear so I can say deflection at point c it will be the minus w a square b square so multiply over here divided by 3l so 2 it will get cancelled clear so this will be the deflection at point deflection at point c clear so this is very very important derivation we have seen that is Maclay's method here we can use the equation wherever we want if you want maximum deflection or if you want deflection at any section then we need to consider up to that only clear so here what we wanted in last equation we have seen that here we want deflection at C so we will neglect this part after the dot line here we need to neglect suppose there was different point suppose here is the point so we need to consider up to this then we will consider the entire equation clear so this is how we have evaluated the we can evaluate the deflection at any point slope at any point by using this particular Maclay's method i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel in next lecture we will see some numericals how this will be the method it is used to evaluate deflection and slope at any point under any loading condition thank you